Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is now July and the growing season is in full swing. I pulled some dendrobiums out because I, who doesn't like roots and growth? Uh, I'm, you know, we love the blooms, but I'm also a sucker for new growth and things like that. So here are a few of my dendrobiums and I have some of the delinquents back there. We're gonna have a look at and check them out. This is Dendrobium cerola. You see, if you have this orchid careful with the water, how are you supposed to water a pendant orchid when you can't help but get water on the petals, sepals and everything? But they don't like it, not much. So this is, we have one more bud to go, but she was pretty while well. she lasted. I really appreciated having her. Best blooming ever, best blooming ever. My Ceratolabium, all these little sticks in here, they're not doing anything. It's fast asleep. It's not dead. These sticks are not showing any signs of buds that I initially thought, but it has two new growths coming up here. There we go. Those are the two new growths of Ceratolabium, which is perfect because I don't think this plant was ever super healthy when I got it and now we are on our way. I got the Ceraula and Ceratolabium from Orchid Man in the Netherlands. I only wanted the Ceraula and I guess he just sent me a bundle of almost dead sticks, but we're, getting, we're turning it around. So that's awesome. Got the, this will be great. This is my little Sharky. Great, fun, fun blooms. And a film is going nuts. Absolutely nuts. I love it. So this is one plant and then several keikis attached and so forth. But the keikis themselves are making new growths of their own, producing now their own secondary structure of roots as well. And then you can see how well it is now just taking over the mount. I mean, I love this, but it's also very scary because at the end of the day, one day it's gonna have to come off, right? That's why I prefer inorganic. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy what we've got. I also have a lot of spent canes, but until they're not so totally dry, like a twig dry, I'm not taking them off. And then all this gorgeous, gorgeous bushiness coming out and just extending. Oh, if you wanna watch an orchid grow, then a film and all of those, like anosmans, are the ones because this is just manic, manic growth. It's awesome. And it's doing its usual little thing. Keiki, okay, I've got one keiki and then I have two. A keiki is producing a new growth. Three, four, five, six. So I'll be taking those off at some point and I shall be mounting them on a Michael mount that's what I call my I won't say the trademark but you know the scouring pads for cleaning pots and pans they're my Michael mounts so I'm just looking here at Ceratolabium there is a bulge but I think I don't think that's gonna come to anything at all no it's dry and then Unicum this is the snapped cane, but it is now in full bloom. And then I'm just gonna see what that cane does once it's finished blooming, if it's gonna do anything at all. The new growth is right here, so that's great. And it's starting to go pendant, which is also awesome. And then I have right here, Dendrobium Victoria Regina. I did a mount video on her. Oh, I can't wait to get her off something natural. I really want to do this inorganic, but I'm a little bit hesitant. I want to get this one established properly, properly before I do anything funky. And the other ones, when I do the update on that, when that work, if that works, that system, then I'm gonna be a happy camper putting this one on an inorganic mount one day, but doing absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Now I see, a few nubbins developing, very, very slight. 
So there's nubbins here, and I don't know if that's going to be blooms. It could be blooms, it could be keikis. And here on the other side is another cane that's showing nubbins as well. Oh, I don't know if it's done blooming or if it's going to continue. Here's another nubbin. I do believe that could be a keiki though. Oh, we'll see. We will see. Victoria Regina is still holding on really well. It's a fantastic day today actually because it's not that hot and it's um, we don't have full sun. It's one of those hazy summer days. It's perfect. And here's Polyanthem. The new growths are coming along really, really well. So that's going to go on a Michael Mount as well once it shows me signs of root growth. There are four, four new growths, which is great. And now she's fully bloomed out. All the buds have opened. This one is the prettiest one of the two that I showed in my blooms for you. And here is a recently opened one. So Valium's Urban Jungle, if you see this. This is what it looks like now in with the four blooms open. But you can also see that the bottom one, this one, is actually on its way out. So gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Very beautiful and very fragrant. Licorice, kind of. Gorgeous. So let's go and check out some of the delinquents. Delinquents. All were chucked into a pot. There's about four different Dendrobium phalaenopsis in this one pot. Early days, my first episode, I think, of Subscribers Inspire. And all these were thrown into the same pot. Now, I know this one is the Burana Green. We have two new growths and some gorgeous roots coming right along with them. And then we can turn the pot and see that this one, whichever version it is, has a new growth coming as well. Got to be careful with that. And then here is another piece and it has a new growth coming down in here. So I just got to be always a bit mindful about the leka not touching it so that it doesn't get any rot. And this little sad grouping of sticks is another Burana green. That's the second piece of what was in the same pot. And there's a little growth coming down here and it's starting a little bit of roots, which is awesome. So this is my community pot delinquents and they're starting to do their thing. I now have them actually in a lot, a lot of light. I thought I knew it would need to protect them, but I thought, no, if you're going to make it, you're going to make it in the conditions that you need to survive. So they're in quite a bit of light. Um, so they're not as protected as I would do with others in a very, very weak state. And here's the other one. This is the Thailand Black, doing the best of all of them. Look at these gorgeous new growths. I think we're always going to be a little bit stunted, but we are recovering and look at all these gorgeous roots coming on. This is important. This is, this is important. I mean, we do love seeing the growth, but if there's no roots, then we already have a problem again. And here's another little new growth developing and the roots are going down into the pot. That's great. At least I will have one to show for. And then Sutkinoi, Dendrobium Sutkinoi has actually finished a growth. So it's not as big as I would like, but it's there and it's time to produce new roots. That's what this one does. It was sort of on the verge of being a delinquent because I don't have it as stable in the pot as I would like. I think we saw Exile, but look at that growth. It's still going upright. I don't see any signals of it going pendant. Not yet. This is the one I'm referring to because I wanted this one to grow pendant. It wouldn't. So here we are. It's taking a 90 degree angle and it's just going bolt upright. All right, you do you. 
but it's growing a lot of lovely, lovely, jubbly roots in the back here. So they are coming along very nicely. That's progress. I enjoy seeing that a lot. So let's put you to the side. And look at Gyrac Horn, what it's doing. Whoop! Oh. So this is going to be bits, bobs and surprises of just dendrobiums. Check this out. We got a spike first time it would ever bloom for me. It's not a plant I would literally write home about, but it doesn't look too bad and it's going to bloom. So yay, we have some more blooms to come from a first time bloomer on Gyrac Horn. And then this is my Burana Twist, Dendrobium Burana Twist. The last time we saw this was when we were doing the silicon the first time. And you can see here how the growths are progressing very slowly. This is four weeks, four weeks of growth from nubbin to this. Hmm. Anyway, very, very happy to see that. Definitely Burana Twist needs roots. And here's my samurai. It hasn't done anything for the longest time. Now I have it on the top shelf in my prime real estate area. And look at that. I have a nubbin coming right there. Very important. I need to get this orchid into a much healthier, healthier status. Because when I got it, actually, I told the seller, this looked like something the cat dragged in backwards. It was bad. But let me come up and show you another thing. So the worst part is what I got, this chewed up kind of thing, cane, I don't know what. And I grew on this tiny, tiny little growth its first year with me. Then it grew this one, which is much better. But the scrawny, scruffy looking cane is going to bloom. So we will have more blooms to give away, which is fantastic, right? because there's enough roots in the pot. I don't have to worry. I don't have to forfeit the spike. I can let samurai bloom and I hope this is a samurai. I paid some buku dinero for this one. So I hope it is a samurai. If not, we shall be hopefully pleasantly surprised. So there's activity on my delinquent bigger dendrobiums. And then let's just look at old favorite here, my old favorite. Ah, oh, Dendrobium Berioda. Some gorgeousness, surprise gorgeousness in July. But we have action going on in the pot. One growth, two new growths, three new growths, four, five, Six, seven, eight. I like it. Great, great progress here. I love it. She is getting ready for another show next year. Meanwhile, we have keikis. So I'll do a video in some time in the future about what I will do with these keikis. The same with the afilum keikis. I'll do a little video when everybody is ready to come off the mother plant. This keiki has been on here for a year, but I want it to come off now. And then let's finish off the show with Mr. Hibiki here. Oh, Miss Hibiki. Look at those psychedelic colors. Aren't they a sight to behold? That is something. That is a shirt. That would be a great shirt. I love it. Absolutely a great shirt. Look at the colors. So thank you everybody very much for watching. If you have any, any questions regarding what I've just shown you here and you need any uh, clarification, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer anything that you might need to address or if I hadn't finished a train of thought. And I hope everybody has a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.